All right, guys. Well, here's up here at the clearing job. Uh, my guy got the D7 over here the other day. And then yesterday, he got here about 9. I don't know when they shut down, but he was here about 9 o'clock. He knocked the rest of that dike down and leveled it out, kind of pushed it out. Got it up here to elevate this road because that's basically going to be, that's possibly going to be the road. It depends. They, they may end up putting the house back there in this clearing now. Um, but that kind of sets elevation. We set a stake over here for an elevation line. So now we can take the rest of that dike back there and we can bring it around here or we can take material out of the pond and bring it up here and elevate this and get rid of this little bowl here. But um, they got quite a bit of work done. I mean, granted, you know, he's got a, a high track D7. So anyways, we'll take a look at it over here. They got this pushed out because he was talking about maybe wanting to put a shop over here. So, I mean, I say we need to keep taking dirt i mean i think it'd look a lot better if we took a lot of this a lot of the rest of this dirt and pushed it you know kind of out that way and brought it in through there and softened the edge i'd probably pull those three trees and i'd pull those three or four trees there leave the big one just take all the smaller stuff and get it gone so we can push this lift out to those larger trees and then that way kind of swell that out you know kind of bring that out all the way to the edge of the other trees here I know they they wanted to keep some of the smaller stuff to at least have trees in here but um, we may be able to feather well we can't feather those in might be able to keep that one um, but those two definitely are kind of in the way if we're gonna put dirt over there but people were wondering about the roots or you might have been wondering about the roots um, the roots are only in that top layer so as you push it, you're getting rid of that first, and then you get down to that, that bottom core to where you really don't have a lot of roots. I mean, there's one here or there. It's not gonna hurt it to bury them at all whatsoever. Um, let's go over here and look at the back part of the dike. That's where the main, uh, the main uh, difference was. At least he got that graded out pretty good to where it's not like a horrible mess to to walk on. We're obviously going to go in and, and grade it out, but um, and we kept the creek, kept the that portion of the dike. We didn't want it to cave off into there or anything like that. But as you can see, here's grade, and if you go across through there, there's a lot of dirt that we can still take off because we're actually going to have this come down to there so there's there's a lot of dirt to move with the uh with the scraper it ought to be here oh i don't know maybe next week because again we have another round of rain this weekend so and this is why uh this is why they didn't want to they didn't want to close up that breach we've got water running through that ditch that i cut it's running down through that track mark over there, but that entire ditch, all this dirt has, it's, it's silt, so it has an incredible amount of water going through it. Um, as you can see, it's got water running right through it, so it was nice to get that done. And it's, uh, it's 30 degrees this morning, into April, and we're 30 degrees. Walked outside and it was frosty and everything else was like, come on. Anyways, let's see if we can get on this without getting muddy. I was kind of hoping this stuff would be frozen. It is fairly frozen. It's not not real wet. But as you can see, here's the top of the dike. He's already taken a good couple feet off of it. Um, you know, we want to take we want to take a good portion back there. Might actually be grade where it's kind of lower. But we want to take all this and take probably six feet i bet you we're gonna pull six feet or oh no we're pulling more than that out eight or ten foot probably up here at the end in here i bet you we got eight or ten feet in here but then they're gonna push out a pond and everything back here move all that dirt up this direction and then that way we'll get all this elevated and kind of coming down to the pond and he's got fall 
all the way all the way around most of the water comes from there because there's a huge field that you can't see behind the trees this is the lowest point there's a deer see that little way oh two of them apparently they don't like me talking but i don't know if you've seen them back here dad'll like that oh there he is he's walking or she i guess walking in the field back here like hey what the heck this guy's back here talking to us um and see you can tell there's just not a lot of roots left um anyways i thought i might give you guys an update this is this has got him so excited that uh i i get a phone call all the time i mean i usually get phone calls a couple times a day but he uh he is so excited he can't even hardly contain himself but huge difference huge difference if you guys look at the videos um if you watch most of my videos and you've kind of seen us working on this this right here used to be i mean it was still probably I, I don't know four maybe five foot tall right here and it dropped down pretty hard now he's got that blended off um and we'll just kind of see what we do a grade i mean obviously this this parcel of ground over here kind of falls that way anyways um so we're going to kind of kind of blend it off to where some of the water's out obviously going to be diverted down to the creek down there but we want to make sure that we can kind of get this to fall that way a little bit and then we'll just make a breaking grade or something because there's no sense in sending all that water this way just to come here might as well send it to the pond but i really don't think that we need anything else falling to the pond except for back here in that back corner because there's a, a tremendous amount of water coming in there anyways i i just wanted to give you guys an update huge change in one day with a dozer uh, granted, it's, you know, a decent sized dozer and a decent operator, uh, D7, but it, uh, it made a huge change in here. So, anyways, I'm going to run and look at a couple properties before I take the skid loader out or the tractor. I don't know if I can get the tractor out. We're going to take it out today and brush hog with it. Um, probably not. Probably going to have to take the skid loader out. It's spring. It's always wet um but we need to get some stuff brush hogged i've got three retention ponds that I, or two retention ponds that i need to mow uh we've got one of our maintenance properties i need to mow and then we've got a new uh, uh area of a phase of a housing development we have to mow haven't ever seen it haven't ever been there so we're gonna go check that stuff out see what we're getting into before we haul equipment figured i'd let some of the frost get out of the grass so it looks a little better when we mow it and uh we'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching